you, he didn't get time to mature to say, okay, I could still help them from a distance. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get time. That happened. And, of course, he's innocent. Of course. You know what I mean? And, and then he was one of them that something that they don't do today. You know what I'm saying? He knew he didn't do that. But he was not going to say he didn't do that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Okay, I'm coming back in the hood. My thing is, I'm, I'm going to do for the elderly and those kids and single mothers in the hood. The rest of y'all, man, y'all men, handle y'all business. The, Figure it out and coming back in the hood. Not saying don't come. No, no, no. I, 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 I just thought, thought about C. Murder when you said that because mm-hmm. I, I would hear... Mm-hmm. I think it was P or someone just saying, man, you know, you got to get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's something when you, but you yeah. be there, mm-hmm. but, but you, your people there. Yeah, and it's, it was hard for him because C was the most giving, most beautiful heart, man. You know, C was, C was different from what people try to portray him as. You know, don't get me wrong. If he got upset and you were the reason for that upset, you're gonna have to deal with him. Yeah. You yeah. know, and and you know, he was you know, he was hot headed, you know, like his brother Kevin. You know, yeah. God bless the dead. He was just like God Kevin. Bless the dead. And so but C had a beautiful heart. And so his thing was, you know, okay, nobody else won't deal with y'all in this hood. I'm coming. I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? And you know that that was just him and, and people say, Okay, everybody try to throw the fault like it was a fault, but Let's be technically honest. He wasn't just hanging. You know what I'm saying? He was he was trying to he helped them get their label deal. Yeah. He had artists that he was trying to bring up. You know, and C was just the type that C he didn't like the bougie life. That's you know, and you know, I mean, and yeah, you know, you, he didn't get time to mature to say, Okay, I could still help them from a distance. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get time. That happened. And of course he's innocent. Of course. You know what I mean? And and then he was one of them that something that they don't do today. You know what I'm saying? He knew he didn't do that. But he was not gonna say he didn't do that. Yeah. He was gonna stand there and say, Okay, bring me bring me to trial. Do what you have to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they'll find me innocent because I didn't do it. You know, but I'm not going to say this person's name or whatever would not. And so, you know, something that, and I said, reiterate and said that they don't do today. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? That they feel they're gangsters and they this, that, and that. But they. The hush code, they, they don't they do. speak. Yeah, they don't do that. And and you look at it on both ways because I look at it from a family man. He have daughters like I have daughters. And he's missed so many years of his daughters. Like, was it a time that you got to say, you know what? I gotta be there for my daughters. They're being mm-hmm. raised, you know. Their mothers, he, had, they, you know, his kids' mothers, mothers, a beautiful, awesome woman, you know, doing a great job and has done a great job. But it's like, you know, as a man, like I'm leaving them hanging. Should I step up to that plate and admit I didn't do this or whatever? Would not, you know. And and for him, you know, it got to a point where even if he wanted to do that, they got who they want, mm-hmm. and they was gonna penalize him, man, because he was a big fish. Yeah. In a racist area. Correct. You know what I'm saying? And so I think it, it, it it's rough, man, because with him, and one of the things with him, man, that killed me when I have spoke to him, and I haven't spoke to him in a while, you know, I've been reaching out to definitely I want to see him, you know, because I never went to see him. I would talk to him on the phone because I had this belief if I can't leave with you, I don't want to go yeah. see you like that. Yeah. But I do what I can here. But, you know, when you talk to him, you get on first thing, he tell me, sir, don't get emotional. Wow. And he in a good mood. And I sit back, and that's why sometimes I've even told my son, boy, stop complaining, pick your head up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is it somebody that know you, young man? I tell my son this, and I've told him this, that knows you and have love for you, that every day he's still smiling with his head up, and he can't come home. Wow. He can't see freedom. And, and you know, and only certain men can be built like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.